Hey, what is going on guys? Happy Friday night. I'm ready for the weekend. I'm having a few beers and I spent a few dollars on the Sega Saturn Mortal Kombat games. Um, if you're not aware, Sega Saturn games are pretty pricey and I was going back and forth on whether I wanted to start collecting Sega Saturn games. But um, I felt like I wanted to dive in. And I got a couple. Don't mind me, I've had a few drinks tonight. A little buzzed up. I don't encourage that, but I'm an adult. I'm over the age. I worked really hard this week, and I'm enjoying these beers right now. I figured I would go with Sega Saturn Mortal Kombat games because, one, Mortal Kombat is still relevant. It's going to be relevant for a very long time. Um... Mortal Kombat 1, the new Mortal Kombat 1, is right around the corner, and it just, it's going to break records for fighting games. It's going to. I'm predicting that, but it's, it's just going to. It's just such a popular title. So, I figured I would go with, one, Mortal Kombat I love, and two, Mortal Kombat is still relevant. I'm going to invest the money in Mortal Kombat. So, stay tuned, because you're going to get a Mortal Kombat trilogy game next week <laughs> but uh so i bought mortal kombat 2 and mortal kombat trilogy we're just gonna do mortal kombat 2 tonight <clears throat> but uh yes i invested in those because they're still relevant and sega saturn games are really good in value um let's ask alexa why sega saturn games are so expensive alexa why are sega saturn games expensive According to an Alexa Answers contributor, simple supply and demand, they intentionally make a limited edition and low number productions to keep the supply low and that results in higher prices and increasing prices on resells. Yeah, so there you have it. So there just wasn't a lot of games made and that's why they're expensive. Um, the Sega Saturn was a colossal failure in the United States. And therefore, you're not going to have a lot of games with that. On top of that, for whatever reason, they made the games extremely hardable to develop for developers. Um, I don't know why. I don't want to dive into that. I don't care, really. <laughs> um, I know it has very complicated um, hardware to it. But other than that, whatever. So... Let's hop into the Sega Saturn Mortal Kombat 2. I'm going to do a friendship with Johnny Cage um, just for fun. Let's, let's do it. Also, a fun thing about the Sega Saturn games, they come with a sponge. sponge back here. I don't want to lose it. I do not want to lose this sponge. Enjoy the start of. Stay out of the way here. So I'm getting vibes that this is just a, it's a better version of the Genesis 32X uh, Mortal Kombat 2, from what I remember when I played my ROMs. It's still not quite arcade, but it's close. It's like kind of a mix. 
sounds off. It's different, different audio. Menu's a little, a little different. Love Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage is my boy. Dive in here, giant cage. I'm doing a friendship today. No violence, no fatalities. Friendship. That's a close one. I'm a little drunk though. I don't encourage being drunk right now. Unless you're of age. Finish him. So my honest thoughts on that Sega Saturn Mortal Kombat 2, it's a upgrade from the Sega Genesis version or Master System, wherever you live, if you're across the pond, wanker. Um, other than that, it's really, yeah, it was all right. It was a little choppy, but, uh, I figure Sega Saturn Mortal Kombat 2 is a fun game to collect along with the trilogy. Um, the only other Sega Saturn game I think I will spend the money on is Panzer Dragon. Maybe House of the Dead too. I think House of the Dead too. After that, I might call it quits on the Saturn. I just don't want to invest that much money. At the same time, it is pretty cool. But, uh, cheers to the weekend. It's Friday night. Have fun. Do whatever makes you happy. Please, whatever it is that makes you happy, you do it. You guys have a great night.